this early. it going are you banned no but you can be i can take care of that for you if you'd like howdy 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 good morning morning crew how's it going hey 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 ho 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 the tismites have got to go <coughs> 9 a.m and here we be it's been a while it's been a while since we did a, a you'll pass okay all right just just asking man i'm that's one of my favorite things to do here, is ban a fool. Just ban a fool. Good morning, good sir. All right, all right, look at everybody. Everybody's filtering in now. Jesse Lee joining DFF, yeah. I think he should be the fourth member of the panel, honestly. You can make sure that none of us turn into Metas. A fresh off the ferry Filipino, yeah, man. That's some that's some deep lore right there. Yeah, that's some definitely deep lore. Some of you folks know way too much about my past. You get all my references. Don't salutate me, okay? I will not be salutated. No, no, no. It's a it's a Filipino, dude. Like like a Philip. You don't know anything. You don't know anything. You look like a maida to me. What is Paul gonna do when vapes get banned? Let me tell you exactly why this vape ban doesn't bother me at all. Here's exactly what's gonna happen. They're gonna limit flavored e juice sales, right? And pretty much everybody that makes e-juice is going to start selling unflavored e-juice and then the flavoring on the side that you can add yourself. So it's just going to be an extra step for me, but literally nothing is going to change. By the way, did you hear that the giant crowning uh, huge death toll from vaping has reached seven now? Seven deaths. When is the last time that something legal caused seven deaths in this country? Seven deaths. Man, I'm, I'm surprised they didn't jump on it earlier. You know, two deaths. Two deaths is ban worthy in this country. I mean, cigarettes is an easy comparison. They're like, th there are absurd things that kill people in this country more than uh, vaping does. Like TJ said that more people drown in a bathtub every year. Roller skates probably kill more people in this country every year than fucking vaping does. But we got a ban to vaping. Got a ban vapes. Yeah, it's the fake THC carts, which are, by the way, going to continue to be available because they're all black market. So they're going to ban the legal sale of perfectly safe uh, e-juice to staunch the flow of deaths from shitty, refillable Chinese black market THC carts. Sounds great. How are you defending corporations 
lying about their ingredients. Dude, you said you didn't want to be banned. Now you're acting like you do. Now you're acting like you do want to be banned. I might have to take care of that for you if you keep being stupid, okay? I'm just letting you know. There's a baseline intelligence quota here that's enforced. And if you're too stupid to participate in the conversation, you ban me and 10 of me come back, and I'll ban all 10 of those too, dude. I'm stealing your free time. I'm stealing your free time, dude. I still come out on top of that transaction because every time you post something stupid and I ban one of your alts, that's like at least two to three minutes of your free time right there that I just skanked. You got to go. You got to create another shitty little fucking email address somewhere. You got to sign up for another Google account. You got to do the whole fucking shebang, dude. The whole shebang. Oh, look, he's gone. Good. One of the specters is here and listening. That's good. <coughs> yep. See, I didn't even I didn't even have to lift a finger for that one. Stealing that free time. First live show I've seen since the meetup was really great seeing you and the brothers in person. Yeah, dude, it's, that meetup was crazy. <laughs> Just a crazy fucking meetup. They all are though. You're wine drunk at 9 a.m. That doesn't sound like a good life choice. That sounds uh, that sounds like a bad the pork chop. What's happened to you? Uh, it's like if there was a, an E. coli outbreak in a fast food joint and Trump decides to ban hamburgers. It's not even like that. It's like if uh, seven people died due to improperly cooked chicken at private barbecues. And so Trump bans all chickens. That's, bas that's basically, that's a way better analogy. Yeah, seriously. I mean, wine drunk? I don't know, man. Wine drunk is the worst kind of drunk, let's be honest. Definitely the best kind of drunk. Good morning. <clears throat> I never feel bad for banning somebody when I know they have alts. Just come back with one of those so I can ban it too. Oh, yeah. I like playing the alt game, honestly. The alt game is fun. Because, you know, like the person doing the banning always comes out on top in the free time. It takes me like, what, three seconds? It takes you like three minutes to make another account. That's a that's a debt to your free time and a gain to mine. You like whiskey over wine? No. No, I don't like whiskeys. I don't like bourbons. I don't like any of that shit. I can drink it, but it doesn't make me feel good. For hard liquors, I prefer like uh vodka or well, not even really vodka, honestly. Like uh I like some uh I like some, what do they call it, tequila? I like some of that. <clears throat> I love, I have the Paul method of accounts. I've got this one and one with my real name for if I get beamed. Yeah, see? The two account solution to save the internet. I honestly don't know what we're gonna talk about today. I didn't really prep anything. I don't usually prep anything for these, but I guess recently I've had a couple of little stories to look at or whatever. So, I guess that'll do. The only liquor I can drink is tequila. Wine is the only light beverage I can drink. Beer gives me migraines. Oh, good for you. Good for you, buddy. No, oh, I shouldn't be quiet. I can I can see how how loud I am. I I'm not quiet. I'm just fine, bud. Do you think these streams go better when you prep? Uh, I don't know, man. Not really. Sometimes they do. I mean, sometimes that prep ends up being needed. But uh no. 
I like just diving face first into these a lot. I mean, this has always been a show based on what you guys want to talk about. So what do you guys want to talk about? Yeah, it is me. You're right. It's Paul. Depends on the crowd, yeah. The crowd does make these. It's a make or break. What's my taste in men? Uh, I like uh, barbecue sauce flavored men, personally. I'm a sucker for barbecue sauce. Become an addict for the Pokemon games lately. My girlfriend got me back into it. A run run let me tell you something about pokemon okay let's talk a little bit about pokemon you millennials and i know most of you are millennial maybe a couple of zoomers sprinkled in there let me tell you something about this and, and it's something you're probably not uh, you, you you might never realize it or you might only realize it when you get like into your 30s when you're an actual functional adult that counts you're going to realize that that cartoon, that cartoon ruined you, ruined your whole generation. That one cartoon has been the source of so much confusion and anthropomorphic sexualization and uh, just bad ideas about how the wor world works. A cartoon ruined you people. You know, back back when I was a kid, let me go into boomer mode here. Back in my day, we used to watch cartoons. We didn't live them. We didn't live them. Y'all y'all live this cartoon. You you can't stop referencing it. You can't stop making allusions to it. You can't stop meme posting about it. Everything that happens gets a surprised Pikachu face from you people. It's literally infected every corner of your life every corner and it's destroyed you it's made you completely incapable of facing the real world you're all just buried in this stupid childhood fantasy running around catching stupid little implausible monsters and putting them in tiny little pokeballs the whole thing has ruined you you like pokemon but you almost never talk about it well you're talking about it now bud you're talking about it now Try to play Pokemon before, but I thought it was boring. I've never played a Pokemon game. I've never, I've never tried it. Never done it. We'll never do it. There's a guy that constantly lives in the past. What are you talking about living in the past? See, why am I living in the past? When, when's the last time you heard me referencing shit from my childhood? Like, when's the last time that you saw me just, like, literally lost in the fan fantasy of the uh, 1980s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon? That's what I watched. You know what? And when I was a kid, too, I used to pretend I was a Ninja Turtle. But then, when I got to be, like, I don't know, 10 or something, moved on. Something happened. That, that, that switch that got flipped with everybody in my generation, where we were like, hey... You know what? That's that's that we should probably stop. It's time to stop. That didn't get switched with you guys. You you're still literally running around wearing Pikachu shirts, quoting the show, humming the song to yourself when you wake up in the morning, playing Pokemon Go till your fucking eyes bleed, imagining what it would be like to have a Geodude for a pet people are fucked you have allowed this japanese cartoon which i'm not even going to call it an anime anymore i it's a japanese cartoon people the, the whole term anime was adopted over here so that people could justify watching that shit past the age of like fucking 15 it's not anime it's a japanese kids cartoon that you're watching still pushing 30 God damn. Yeah, I went to one vast vampire the mas masquerade LARP to try and get laid when I was a teenager. 
how is that how is that in any way analogous to grown ass men and women that literally can't have a conversation without referencing uh, Ash Ketchum? Something happens in the news, surprised Pikachu face. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I got the overview on your whole fucking generation, man. Call me a boomer if you want. I got the goddamn overview. I know everything that's going on. Yeah. Have you ever had a conversation? No, I've never had a conversation, bro. You dumped Pokemon in the fifth grade like a human. Congratulations. You escaped. Old man, look at my life. 24 and so much more. Living in a Pikachu paradise. Throwing Pokeballs. Can't think about anything else. We'll never get a girlfriend ever. Pokemon, no Pokemon, Pokey Pokemon. I'm 36. It's like having one foot in Gen X and the other in the Millennial, so both of them annoy me. Yeah, I'm technically a Millennial. I, I was born the first year that millennialism was born, so I missed most of the nasty shit about millennialism. And now, like, the Zoomer generation, holy fuck. I think it's, I think it's actually... I think it's actually useful and actually descriptive that Zoomers have adopted that title because it's one letter off of Boomers, and they're very much like the baby Boomers. Zoomers and Boomers, even though they're mortal enemies, they profess to hate one another. They're pretty much mirror images of one another. They're, uh, the, you know, the Boomers were the most self-absorbed, selfish, self-involved generation that was ever unleashed upon this planet until the zoomers zoom 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 is it okay for me to bury my pokemon balls in ashley's backpack now that you hey dude I got, I got, no, I got nothing but love for you. You go for it, buddy. Go take your pokeballs wherever you want. I always hated Pokemon. People like it way too much, and it just annoys me. No shit, it annoys everybody. Even the people that fucking constantly talk about it are annoyed by it. You were born in '97. Are you a millennial or a Zoom? I don't know, dude. You need to look that up yourself. I'm pretty sure that like. Millennials, the first year that, mil that that you can be born and be a millennial is 1980. Which is the year I was born. So, yeah, I got one foot in Gen X, one foot in the millennial generation. Just enough to know enough about you people. See, that's the thing. People call me a boomer. I'm a fucking millennial, dude. I'm talking about talking about my generation. All we do is watch Pokemon. Talking about my generation. Turn the fucking TV on. Talking about my generation. Listening to shitty music all day. Talking about my generation. Yeah. You can't you can't shove me out of the millennial generation and call me a boomer. I was born in 1980. I'm an, I'm a fucking millennial. I'm yeah. I'm just the oldest millennial that can possibly be. So I know better. Doesn't that suck? Doesn't that suck to know that that you can't just de you can't just boomerize me. I do listen to Post Malone. That is true. I do have a little bit of millennial in me. Never understood grouping people based on stereotypes of their generation just seems like juvenoia. I mean, it seems like that when you're under the oppression of it. Like, I felt the same way. You know, they used to, I, I identified more with Generation X 
um, you know, I listened to the music of Generation X and watched the shows of Generation X and, and uh, you know, was raised at the very beginning of the millennial generation. So I very much identified with Gen X and I felt the same way when I was a teenager, when I would see the news stories about Generation X, you know, s you know there's more smokers amongst Generation X teenagers than there were amongst the previous generation, blah, blah. You know, it, it felt like that. But as I got older, I realized that Juvenoia is 110% like justified. Absolutely and completely justified. And let me tell you why. And this is going to be a tough thing to swallow. Young people, by and large, are stupid. Sorry. I don't mean to be mean. It's just the truth. By and large. Until you're about 20 years old, you can't really claim to not be stupid. And w why does that make fear uh, a justifiable emotion, a justifiable reaction? Well, what do stupid people do? I mean, what is a stupid person best at? The answer? Being stupid and not knowing it. What's more dangerous than that? Like, what is more dangerous than that? Being stupid and taking pride in it. Yeah. Well, the, the reason they take pride in it is because they think they're stupid is smart. And until they enter the real world, they don't know that their stupid isn't smart. But they still advocate for positions. They still have opinions on things. You know? Being a boomer is less of an actual age range and more of a mindset. I got to disagree. I got to disagree. Being a boomer is being a baby boomer, part of that generation. There's no such thing as a boomer mindset. That's just, uh, that's just one of the things that, uh, well the stupid people that we're talking about came up with to dismiss the wisdom of their elders. What, this person has more life experience than me? Uh, what a boomer. Shocked Pikachu gif reaction. I mean, that's why, that's why Juvenoia exists. You people are fucking insane. I mean, don't act like you don't, like, propagate Juvenoia. Don't come to me and claim I've got juvenoia and then not look at the reasons why I've got the juvenoia. People are fucking insane. You're crazy. Really just called your mod stupid oof. Findley, you seem like you're really, really not happy to be here. Would you like me to take care of that for you, bro? Every, everything I read from you, I skim over it with my eyes, and I'm like, wow, somebody somebody wishes they were somebody else some, or somewhere else watching someone else. You want me to take care of that for you, bro? If I were you, I'd duck. Keep your head down. You wanted to do it anyway? Okay. Yeah, just, of course he'll be back. You just stole three minutes of his life, though. Yoink. You think someone like Biden or Trump is automatically smarter because they're older? I don't know if I necessarily believe they're automatically smarter, but I think that somebody like Biden or Trump has more life experience than you do. I mean, you can't, you can't argue with that, right? There's literally no argument that a guy like Biden or Trump has dealt with more problems and had to come to more realizations about the nature of their life than you have at the age of 20 or 21 or whatever the fuck you are, right? That counts for something. Yeah. I mean, this Biden was around when dudes were still putting pomade in their hair, fighting with rusty rain barrel straight razors and shit. You don't know nothing about that. Not all life experience is good or even applies to nowadays life. 
I mean, that's a really good way of trying to insert yourself uh, unnaturally into the hierarchy of life experience. Yeah, but you got bad life experience. Don't you learn from bad life experience? I don't know. It seems like a bad argument, bro. You might want to take that one back to the fucking workshop. Remember the times we thought Paul was nice? What were we thinking? <laughs> I don't know how you ever got that impression of me. I've always been an asshole. <clears throat> Life experience doesn't always equate to knowing what you're talking about, though. If you're a stupid fuck when you were younger, chances are you're going to be a stupid fuck when you're older. Yeah, you're going to be a stupid fuck with more life experience, though. Would you rather be a young stupid fuck that has no idea how to navigate society and how to make a life as a stupid fuck or a stupid fuck that has at least lived 40 years? You know what I mean? You want to take it down to the stupid fuck level? Let's do it. What's better, a, a young stupid fuck that doesn't know how not to trip over his own shoelaces or an old stupid fuck that learned to tie his shoes? Hmm. I don't know. Young, so I have a chance to learn how to. Okay. So your chance to actually be smart is better than somebody that's actually had the life experience to make them smart? Okay. <laughs> I don't know how that one works out, but okay. I wonder how many people get progressively dumber as they age. Oh, I'm, I'm sure some people do. I'm sure, I'm sure it does happen. What matters more in total, raw intellect or life experience? It depends on what you're trying to be. If you're trying to be like some kind of fucking, uh, you know, theoretical math professor, professor or some shit, then yeah, like, into like just basic raw intelligence is probably more important. If you're just trying to be a normal person, I'd say life experience is probably more important. Anime logic, yeah. Well, I, you know, I am a millennial, so I was touched by that. Wisdom versus brains, yeah. I mean, you can't discount a little, a little wisdom. I mean, I felt the same way when I was young too. I didn't want old people telling me what was what. I didn't, I, you know, I didn't think they understood a fucking thing. But I was wrong, you know. I was, I was projecting a lot of stupid bullshit their way. They had every right to deflect it back in my face. I was young. I was stupid. I didn't know what I was doing. I hadn't paid a bill, you know? Hadn't uh, had to work a fucking nine to five. Hadn't uh, had to, you know, go through buying a car, or leasing an apartment, or, you know, any of the crazy fucking bullshit that you have to juggle when you grow up. I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. I straddle Gen X and Millennial. Born in 1980. Some old people are massively out of touch and don't understand those things themselves. Sure. Sure. They do exist. I, mean, I just think there's a lot more young people that don't understand those things than there are old people that don't understand those things. Um, sometimes you do get boomer. Just give them a smile and you'll be hired advice, though. Huh? Say what? How do you think you're going to get hired? Walking in there with a shit fuck attitude, looking like a fucking, you know, scene kid? You might want to take some boomer advice if you're having trouble getting hired somewhere. The Zoomers are coming to take over. You can't stop us, Paul. <laughs> you can have it. Dude, you think that's a good thing? That's such a Zoomer mentality. Hey, we're going to take over this flaming shit heap that you guys have raped to oblivion. You <laughs> have at it, bro. 
<laughs> it's all yours. Waiting for you to step up and become part of the tax base. Get a job. Go through college. Yeah, I'm ready to pass the torch to your dumb asses. You can have it. Lamau, like this guy knows anything about getting hired. I worked normal jobs my entire life. I've been uh, employed solidly without any major breaks since I was 16 years old. I've worked at, let's see, I can count if you'd like, one, two, three, four, five, six distinct uh, corporations and the government. I know a little something about getting hired. Oh, man. Oh, boy. It's the same thing your generation did? Oh, I know. I know. And I've tasted the fucking sweet defeat of thinking that Generation X slash early millennials were going to save the world. Come on, dude, take it. The quicker, the better. You Zoomers want it, you can have it, dude. Yeah, I guess you're right, Paul. I was trying to refer to older people occasionally not understanding there is sometimes no face-to-face -face interaction in the application process. Okay. I want to know how that works. I mean, you can get hired on the internet, but you still have to go in for a fucking interview. You still have to meet the people that you work with. You still have to have some face-to-face -face interaction with your boss. Unless you're working some freelance thing, but how's a fucking you know, 16 year old zoomer getting hired as a freelance work from home person. It just sounds like a very small amount of people are, are, are going that direction. Uh, for most of you, if you want to get a job, you're going to have to be able to talk to people. What do if have speech minus 27? Get better, get good. Level up and tag your speech. There's no such thing as a good job. Not when you're talking about like the base level jobs. You know what I mean? You're not gonna get a good job. You're just going to get a job unless you go to college or, you know, strike out on your own and become an artiste or something. You're not going to get a good job. Put all your XP into luck. Yeah. Speaking as an art form requires constant practice and failure. Yes. Yes, you like anything. If you think that you're going to get better at speaking by sitting in your bedroom watching Pokemon all day, you're not going to. You're just going to learn how to say watashi wa, okay? That's not going to get you hired anywhere. Do you have any work friends from your other jobs that you miss being in touch with? Sure. Yeah, dude, I've had a lot of really cool uh, friends. There was a chick um, that I worked with at uh, the first Starbucks that I got hired at in Chandler, Arizona, named Nico. She was from New York. And she was fucking amazing. Like, she hated customers. Everybody hated customers, but she hated them with a red-hot, fiery passion. And she would roast, like, she'd wait until we were slow and then just roast everybody that came through. She was great. Um, I don't know. I've worked with a lot of really cool people. Hmm. 
going to start my teacher internship. I'm hoping it will be a good job, but I'm open for advice. Oh, elder millennial. You, I, d mm, I don't know that I want to be part of discouraging somebody who's about to become a teacher, but let me just tell you, you're in for a world of fucking pain. I'll give you that much. Your conception of what it's going to be like in the classroom and what your job expectations are going to be like are 180 degrees from the truth. Sorry. Yeah, dude. That You've, you've chosen a really, really tough profession, a, a profession that chews a lot of people up and spits them out, and they end up just doing something else with their lives. Because they have this idea that being a teacher means liberating the minds of the young. And uh, that may be part of it, but that's not the balance of what you'll be doing as a teacher. Children are extremely disrespectful these days. They always have been. You guys don't have a mar you don't have the market cornered youngsters on on being disrespectful to authority figures. Okay, we were always assholes. Children are out. You remember that goes back to what we were talking about at the very beginning. Children are stupid assholes, and always have been. That's why people have juvenoia. Paul, you should DFF Zappa. He said almost exactly this to a person who asked him about starting a band. I think, yeah, yeah. I love Frank Zappa. Um, my friend Morgan, who um, sang the song that I opened this up with, by the way, Madtown, got me into Zappa when I was uh, a teenager. Frank and the Mothers and... Um, you know, really kind of informed the type of stupid ass music that we made. Frank Zappa had a had a sense of humor with his music, which is something you don't see a whole lot these days. What really went on in teachers' lounges? Nothing, nothing like juicy. Just teachers bitching about their jobs, usually. Kind of what you'd expect. Have you ever tried no fap? It's my fourth day on it, and I feel like Superman. <laughs> Good for you, dude. You go on. You go on about your business. All right. You can do no fap if you want. Just stop telling people about it, man. That's that. There's my there's my uh, elder millennial advice for you. Stop telling everybody that you're doing no fap. Okay. That's not. That's like going like, dude. I'm boned up and horny. Boned up and horny all the goddamn time, man. I'm horny as a fucking billy goat, bro. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Not, not a single human being cares that you jerk off or don't. That's, a, that's one thing about the millennial generation that I can give you guys some, some elder millennial uh, boomerish advice on. Stop telling everybody everything about yourself. You guys have been... You guys have been like conditioned to think that the whole world needs to know when you decide not to jerk off for four days. Stop telling, nobody cares. And the more you broadcast that shit, it's like, it's like pinning your fucking stupid private things to your shirt. Can you imagine going to high school with a big sign pinned to your shirt that says, no fap day four. That's basically what you're doing. I haven't jerked off in four days. And it follows you like a little fucking stinky, shitty, vicious puppy dog throughout your whole life. Anything you say now is going to be dug back through and found when you're fucking 30. And you're going to have to account for why you were obsessed with not beating your dick. There you go, bro. You want to do no fap? <laughs> There's this thing called a private decision. Make it a private decision. You want a little you want a little elder millennial advice? There you go. Do no fap. Keep your mouth zipped about no fap. You'll thank me. You will. I'll keep to myself about it from now on. Thank you. Say, hey, see, there you go. Smart idea.
watch everything on the internet get erased by Le Solar Flare. Oh man, we can only hope. We can only hope and dream. Do you think your generalization of millennials comes from how you see us in chat and in social media? Most millennials I work with and know aren't like this and spend as much or spend as much time. It has nothing to do with the time you spend on YouTube. Nothing to do with that at all. It does have a little something to do with how you present yourselves, though. That is, that's for absolutely sure. In like 10 to 15 years, millennials will start warming their way deep into politics. The horror. That's okay. We've got boomers in there now. And uh, some Generation X folks in there now. It's, it can't be. It can't be worse. It can't be worse, dude. Presentation is a big part of it. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm amazing. I know. I'm aware. I'm fully aware. Anyone living in the middle of a tropical storm right now? Uh, only if you're like in Texas, I think. Politics is always a horror show, regardless of what mannequin wears the flag pin. Oh shit, man! We got some, we got some deep thoughts happening in the chat tonight, or today, or whatever this is. I don't even know. I'm up so early, it feels like night. Paul, whatever happened to TJ and Paul versus the Pokemon movie was hilarious, and wanted to show my friend. Uh, just probably nowhere to fucking host it. I don't know. Sorry. You people need to start recognizing when Paul's being serious and when he's being a troll. Shut up, Fallout Boy. Don't ruin my fucking mojo, man. Stop ruining my mojo, dude. Don't tell people the secrets of ideology. Like I stupidly did the one time when I explained my Pied Piper of Autism principle. Don't do it. Do you think the corporate state is going to bring back debtors' prisons? Don't they already? It doesn't debtors' prison already exist in some capacities? Aren't people sometimes going to... Uh, going to jail for not paying pretty sure it happens but yes uh i just feel like we need another major shakeup in terms of our political arena maybe through a catastrophe or something else wow that's a very neoconservative idea you've got there dick cheney would be proud yeah, Dick Cheney and the neoconservative movement would be proud. That's one of the founding principles of the neoconservative movement is that in order to, um, I don't know, uh, unite the country behind your ideas, uh, a giant catastrophe is the best way to do that. A war, a uh, terrorist attack, uh, some kind of ecological disaster. Bill Maher wants a recession. Every fucking dyed in the wool corporate Democrat wants a recession because it's not a Democratic fucking administration right now. So that's it makes it makes the Republicans look bad if there's a recession. Do you think the Saudis allowed their oil to be attacked? Allowed it? I don't know, dude. I do know that the tail is wagging the dog when it comes to this fucking ramping up of rhetoric against Iran. For sure. We need a catastrophe to unite America. We are a weak and defeat liberal nation. Basically the neocon worldview, yes. I don't know how we can survive automation without ditching or radically reforming capitalism for something else. We can't. 
and I'm going to I'm going to tell you what, we're not going to until things get so fucking insanely bad that we almost have to. That's just basically the way that America operates. I've quoted this a bunch of times here. I think it was Winston Churchill, and I'm paraphrasing, said, you can always trust the Americans to do the right thing after they've exhausted every other option. And I think that when it comes to foreigners nailing the American mindset, I don't think you get better than that. We are going to go right on automating people out of jobs until there is this giant unemployed block of people that's ready to hit the streets and start rioting and uh, homelessness spikes and mental illness spikes and then the, the country just demands something be done about it and the powers that be have to do something about it in order to preserve national sovereignty and they will but only after the problem is so fucking bad that whatever action they take will be a half measure. We don't plan for the future here in America. We live in the present and we just kick the can down the road to the next generation of people and let them deal with the problems that we created. I'm just saying things won't change until some disastrous force takes place. And even then they won't change or, or might, might not change for the positive. I mean, look at 9-11. Big disaster, right? Can you, can, you tell me, can you tell me some positive social change that came out of 9-11? I'll wait. I'll wait. Wait for that positive social change. Anybody? Anybody got a positive social change out of that 9-11? <clears throat> we got a surveillance state. We got the trampling of civil liberties. We got otherism that uh, created racial division in this country. We got militarism. Um, there are now people that uh, are being born that will never know peace. There you go. There's the neoconservative ideal in practice. We need a big fucking unifying attack on American soil so that we can further erode your civil liberties, your freedom of speech, your freedom of association, the freedom of information. Positive. People on planes attack terrorists rather than doing what they say. A, con a concolation prize? Man, a concolation prize, dude. Fuck me. <laughs> Whatever. I think aliens or AI overlords are probably better than what we have now. Uh, I don't think there's any way to know that, honestly. Will there ever be a cultural shift where we common folk stop squabbling amongst ourselves and instead target or at least question those in power? No. Absolutely not, no. We should become the Borg. You're absolutely right. If there was brain one in the heads of the mass population of, of the world, they would be absolutely hitting the streets and begging to be put into the machine, begging to have their indiv individuality erased in favor of collectivism. They'd be begging for it so that their children would have a planet to live on. But we're too stupid. Is, dude, the way the way it works with people in the West, especially, is as long as the grocery stores are open, you got nothing to worry about in terms of social upheaval. As long as the grocery stores are open and people have got enough money to go in and buy some eggs and some cereal, you're fine. You get a critical mass of people that can't do those things, you got a problem. But I would not expect uh, anything positive to be 
happening anytime soon. <clears throat> After the plague spread and wiped out a third of Europe, they entered a new golden age. However, I don't think, see anything beneficial coming out of our situation. It's a different context, of course. That golden age is played up. Let me tell you what typified your average person's life in the golden age that we all like to talk about that came after, uh, you know, the Black Death and the Middle Ages. Poverty, injustice, hunger, and disease. So this idea that we entered a golden age is from the perspective of people that live in what those people would have thought is the real golden age. Good morning. Dude, this is the craziest shit. So I get this text last week, like last Wednesday or so from my sister saying, hey, PJ, me and my husband and all my kids and your mom and stepdad are coming to New Orleans next Wednesday. So my, my, uh, my brother-in-law is selling his business to somebody that's here in New Orleans. So they're going to be here for a week negotiating the sale and transfer of that part of his business. And they decided to bring my whole family here. So they're coming today. Which is, I, they're moving in. Oh, God. There's, there, there's literally no way. I did the math about having everybody over here. I started thinking about it. I was like, all right, what if everybody wants to come over here? Well, let's see what we got. We got me. We got Amelia. We've got our animals, Cricket and Dinor. Okay, so that's already four beings in the house before we have any guests then we got my mom my stepdad my sister her husband and their six children it's like 14 people i don't even have i don't even have chairs for half of that here so we're gonna have to meet somewhere else holy shit and i've got work this week if they could have waited like three weeks, uh, Scotty's going to be out of town. I think three weeks from now, we're going to pre-record, and I would have had you know pretty much a week off. Yeah, no, they're not staying here. No, no, they they got like a big Airbnb or something that they all split. So yeah, I got that. I, they're they're coming into town today. I'm assuming like after filming and stuff today i'm gonna go see him and try and plan out a couple of things over the course of the week where i get to go see him yeah that's why they're not coming here because i like to walk around with my dong out i got no pants on right now my balls are just flopped over the edge of my chair you guys would never know the difference Please, if you can do a hideology later, too, with a cherry on top. I don't know, man. Maybe I'll do a quick one from uh, TJ's when I get to the studio. Maybe. But this is likely to be your hideology for the day. Right here. You want me to show you? You don't believe me? You don't believe? See, if I were to stand up, the internet would shut down. I'm going to just be honest. If I were to display the splendor that is my chachim bowls to the internet, the whole internet would shut the fuck down. It'd be over. Okay? 90% of this audience would spontaneously orgasm in their pants. And then that fucking clip would spread through the internet and the world would end because people would be just spontaneously nutting. Just can't do it. Just can't do it. Hey, you keep your mouth shut, Ashley. <laughs> Just because you're the only one that's seen the splendor. 
uh, do it on the last episode of Hideology. There's never going to be a last episode of Heidi. Even after I die, I've pre-recorded like 90,000 of these and scheduled them out after I croak. You guys will never know I'm dead. Paul, does your sister look like you? Not really. Not really. My scrotum versus gorilla. <laughs> oh, man. I've seen your balls, Paul. Remember me from the meetup. Nobody at the meetup saw any of my balls. Yeah, I'm dead now. Dude, I died of a heart attack like six years ago. What's wrong with you people? Think any of your fans will show up at your funeral? I hope to not have a funeral, so no. My family and friends want to get together and have some kind of little private party to send me off. That's fine, but I don't want no funeral. I don't want no, like, weird prop me up in a church and let people come look at my bloated-ass corpse type of thing. I don't want that. I, I really got no control over whether I get that, though. That, that is one of the life's final indignities is that, like, you die... And then your family does what they want with your body, usually. Fuck that. Life's final indignity. Yeah, a series of wigs. Does this hair look real to you guys? I mean, come on, I'm just trying to invoke the sense of the passage of time a big old mop on my head. I started balding like 10 years ago. Come on, get with the program here. You guys think anything is real on the internet? Come on. Come on. Why is Jordan Lee Peterson, or Jesse Lee Peterson, Jordan Lee Peterson? <laughs> why is Jesse Lee Peterson on the thumbnail? Why, why isn't he on your thumbnails? Why isn't Jesse Lee Peterson your fucking avatar? That's the question you should be asking. I wonder how many hours every single Paul Zigo's video, Hideology stream, Cinema for Sinks video, Drunken Peasants with you and DFF would be. That's a lot of content over the years. It's multiple, multiple hundreds of hours of content. This is one of the things I got into it with uh, some dorks on the subreddit the other day. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think I'm some kind of great political mind or something, but people act like I just pull shit out of my ass when I've been saying the same shit for like 10 years. My politics have not really fundamentally changed over the course of 10 years and probably a couple of thousands of hours of me just dedicatedly talking about them. So you can say I'm stupid and that my ideas are stupid, but like to say that I just pull shit out of my ass, it's pretty ridiculous. Pretty ridiculous shit. I wonder when Paul is going to realize that none of us are real and he's talking to hundreds of AI bots to distract him from leading the revolution. Dude, they don't need to. If that's true, you guys don't need to do that. I have no, I have no desire to lead any kind of fucking revolution whatsoever. Pick a focus for lyrics on a trap song. You want to you hear some trap lyrics? Okay, here we go. Here's some trap lyrics for you. M 
moving them bricks to the bando like ooh moving them bricks to the bando like ooh diamond on my wrist and it looked like glue diamond on my wrist and it looked like glue walk in the club and i flex like ooh walk in the club and i flex like ooh maison margella all over my shoe maison margella all over my shoe pull up swerving in a coupe 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 move them bricks to the bando like ooh diamond on my wrist and it looked like glue walk in the club and i flex like ooh maison margella all over my shoe you you want me to keep going I can keep going. Made a couple bands in the kitchen. Made a couple bands water whipping. Take a nigga bitch go missing. Ooh. Bitch, I ball like a piston. Ooh. Bitch, I flex Ric Flair. Damn. All they do is stare. Ooh. There it is. There it is, man. Uh, Paul, I'll pay for your robotic parts so you don't need to die ever, okay? All right, go ahead and send me a couple billion dollars, Edgelord. I'm waiting. No, it's not ew. It's ooh. In fact, you got to spell ooh right. It's not, it may not be the way that you think it is. Like, I'll put it in the chat for you guys, okay? I'll show you how ooh is supposed to be spelled. There you go. Ashley's got it. You can add as many U's as you want. Did you snap your fingers really quick as you read the lyrics? Huh? Moving them bricks and I bound like ooh. Sue, Sue, Sudio. Yeah, I mean, the lyrics and rap. Oh, I think a lot of people shit on modern trap because they think that the lyrics and rap have always been great, but they really haven't. Like, some some raps are lyrically great and some are just kind of like flex songs. They've always been that way, man. They've always been that way. What makes a song that can't catches attention? I don't know, man. That earbug philosophy is a hard one to put your finger on. A lot of it depends on personal taste, of course, but when, when you have a song that just hits... You know, you never, you, 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 there's, there's really no way. There's really no way to fucking know. Usually if it makes the booty bounce, it's filled with garbage lyrics. Yeah, that's true. Oh, look who it is. It's a cricket, a.k.a. my alarm clock. Cricket, in the morning, he just decides when you get up. He decides he's going to chew something. He decides he's going to he's going to meow. He decides he's going to purr right in your face. Oh cricket. Yes, he's huge. He's like a panther. And he's got a giant swingy belly too. You want to show him his nips? Let's see if you guys can see. Look at the belly on this thing. Oh, my God. Look at him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a tater. Huge. Yeah, he's huge. Kitty cat, why so fat? You ate too much, and that is that. Oh, that's a cute little rhyme. That's a beast. Yes, he's a beast. Yeah, he's he's a big boy. 
Big boy. Oh yeah. Can show off a little Dinor. Dinor Dinor's not fat at all. Look at him. <laughs> he got no belly. He got no belly. My oldest cat looks like a fat loaf of bread when he's sitting, lol. Yeah, all cats do. The kitty loaf is a thing. Your cat is cute and so is your daughter. Great joke. Some Dinor action. Oh yeah, dude. Dinor Dinor is the best. He's in he's he's in good shape. Dinor has always been in good shape. He always keeps it slim and trim. He keeps it slim. He keeps he keeps it uh, svelte. Does he like lasagna? I'm sure he would if we gave it to him. Your girlfriend bringing in the animals like a Price is Right showcase? Yes. Yeah, we're we're out though. There's nothing behind door number three. People still can't spell dinosaur. I know. It's so easy, too. It's dinosaur, just drop the S. It's so hard. Just drop the S out of dinosaur. That's all you got to do. He does. That's true. Now I'm hungry. You're hungry because we showed you cats and dogs? <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to make that joke. I had a, I had a, I almost did a racism just now. I almost asked if you're Chinese, but I didn't. I didn't. Because I know that Chinese eat other things, too. As sane. Yeah. Are you a sane? <laughs> Panther meat is a delicacy. I've never had panther before. Is it good? I bet it is good. I bet it tastes delicious. Chinese communist detected. Damn. Hanging around racists like TJ has really rubbed off. On, I know. TJ's constant racist rants have affected my mind. Oh yeah, dude. We watched a uh we watched um Creep Show 2 yesterday and the first the first Creep Show like thing is Old Chief Woodenhead and it's got Indian people in it but there's no Indians. Like no American Indians. There's a Mexican dude playing an Indian and then there's like a blonde hair blue-eyed Irish dude that they literally brown-faced up and put in a black wig. You can't get away with shit like that anymore in the movies. That was like 85 or 86 when that movie came out you can't brown up a, a white dude and make him an uh, an indian anymore yeah I, I always thought that the two indians in that were real indians too like i thought chief what's his name was a real indian but he's a mexican dude his last name is like santos or something and then the other dude is like joe mccabe or some shit he's just like he's he's in a uh, mind hunter yeah, a lot of people will be watching Mind Hunter. He's the dude in Mind Hunter. They bl they brown faced up the Mind Hunter dude and put a black wig on him and made him a fucking made him an Indian. Oh yeah, thanks for the ride, lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classics, dude. Yeah, dude, I love I I love that dude's performance in that though. I love how self absorbed he is. Man. Yeah. Just just look at this hair, man. When I go to Hollywood, they're going to see this hair, and they're going to say, Sam, you really got it. You're the man. Oh, hell no. Didn't they get mad at Johnny Depp for playing one? Is Johnny Depp part Indian? Yeah. Got to go to the internet. Uh, let's see. Johnny Depp. Uh, what do they call that? nationality or ethnicity that's what I was looking for see what his ethnicity is uh, 
Johnny is the son of Betty Sue Wells and John Christopher Depp. Much of or most of Johnny's ancestry traces back to England. He also has small amounts of Irish, Scott Irish, Northern Irish, Scottish, Welsh, French, French Canadian, Dutch, Flemish, Belgian, and German ancestry, as well as three 2048 African an ancestry. His patrilineal line is genetically traced back to Pierre de Pay. But he's just a he's just a European mutt. He's a European mutt with a little dash of pepper. But he's yeah, I don't think he's any I don't think he's got any Native American in him. Scots are basically the Indians of the UK. Oh, okay. Well that makes it okay then. I think the funniest outrage was when people got mad when a white guy played Iron Fist and they wanted an Asian actor like in the comics. However, in the comics, he actually was a white guy. Okay. Johnny Depp did most of the last Pirates movie so drunk he needed his lines fed to him via an earpiece. Cool. Yeah, I mean that sounds that sounds like something Jack Sparrow would do, so it probably served the performance. Yeah, it did. The la the last couple of uh Pirates movies are just unwatchable. You sense that you I have a strong Nigerian and Congolese ancestry. How did you know? I'm I'm a hundred. I I I've got my uh 23 and me man I could bring it up right now look at this 23 and me I got the proof the proof is in the pudding no it's it's pretty interesting to see because I did have a lot of like family stories like I can't even tell you what my mom used to say to me she said she said that she'd heard rumors that there was and I'm quoting here a little n-word in the wood pile and also that we had Indian ancestry. That was all wrong. 100% wrong. Here we go. My ancestry composition. Take a look. There I be. So there, there you go. Let me move this over. Let me move you guys over here. God damn it. Oh, wait. I'm on the wrong screen. <laughs> Put you guys over here for a minute. There you go. European. What does that say? A hundred percent. British and Irish, mostly. French, German, Scandinavian. Southern Euro European. I got 1% Spanish and Portuguese. I don't know. See? There you go. That's me. I'm a Brit. You're 4.3% related. Hey, cool. Yeah, I'm a Brit. Look at this. Greater London and County Dublin of Ireland. I'm a Dubliner. I'm a Londoner. My people were peasants and farmers. So you're the Aryan ideal? God, I hope not. Your test is rigged. You're 100% gay. That doesn't test that. You can't test gay. Wow, 100% European, basically Richard Spencer, I guess. Come here right. then to London. I, too. What? Who? who what? Paul Phoenix. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. Why are you talking about Creep Show too? We we talked about that like 20 minutes ago. He must have he must have scrolled back a little. Somebody tell that guy to like reload the page and get on get on our fucking level why do people drop the e in parky even when it's right in front of them 
It's like the, the, the most common misspelling of my last name is P-A-R-K-Y. You can't rewind on PC streams. You can't? I thought you could. Is that the one with the Indian statue? Yes, it is. Old Chief Woodenhead. What are all the Fs for? Why are we getting Fs? Did I get beaned? Did I take a bean? Did I get beaned? Did I take a bean? No. No, I can still hear it. Oh, stream died for a second. Man, I really hate that F shit. I really wish that I that I could stop you guys from doing that F shit. More than anything in the world. Whoa. There's my Twitter. Yeah. I wish I could stop that F shit. What about G? I'm I don't want any of it. I don't want anything being spammed when you guys have a fucking internet hiccup, okay? Nobody needs to know that your personal internet sucks. A streamer you watch use a nightbot to auto time out people who do it. I need to get a nightbot up in here. I, I like having my specters, but I need, I need a nightbot. I need an AI trimming the fucking fat off of this shit. Yeah, you guys had an internet problem, and then you effed all over my chat. The stream literally died for a second. Yeah, because of your shit fuck internet. Be blaming your internet on my shit. You want to see proof? Look at this shit. Watch. Let me see if I can do it. It's gonna be weird. Look at look at right down on the bottom. Look at the bot. Oh shit, that's <laughs> not gonna work. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, you'll just have to take my word for it. Zero dropped frames. Zero. It was your internet, not mine's. Yep. Does your girlfriend play D&D? &D? No, she doesn't, I don't think. Have you ever played D&D? &D? No. Just no. Magic. She played Magic the Gathering, though. That's pretty That's pretty awesome. Hey, Paul, in the last two years, you've intro introduced me to Tool, Nirvana, Ghost, and The Big Lebowski, plus countless hours of content. Hey, you're a smart guy listening to me. I know everything that's good. All you got to do is ask me. That's, uh, that's another part of being old that all you youngsters don't appreciate. I know everything that's good and everything that sucks. I've got it all figured out. Magic is fun. Wish I had more people to play it with. Dude, just get that free-to-play Magic the Gathering uh, arena shit. I play that. I play that shit. Paul, when are you going to play Sekiro again? I don't know. Are you playing WoW Classic? Absolutely not. These are some dumb questions coming through. One of the dumb questions that comes through is people's personal hobbies showing up. Like, if I said yes that I was playing WoW Classic, would that fill you with a sense of, like, joy because you also play it? Who cares? Love the Jason episode. Ho I hope you guys do more horror franchise episodes. I'm sure we will. This is, after all, the show about everything. You want to play with people IRL? There's got to be, like, a little fucking... Uh, what do they call it? Like a little card shop or whatever, you know? Like where people go to play Pokemon and stuff. Mm -hmm. Got to be one of those near you. There's one of those everywhere. Yeah, we can do that if you guys are feeling like it. Dumb questions with yes or no answers. Go for it. I'll just answer yes, no, yes, no to the, all your dumb questions. What's going on with Dank D&D? You guys ever get that table? Yes, yes. The studio is almost complete for Dank D&D. 
then I'm going to spend a bunch of time sitting in front of the fucking light and soundboard learning how to jockey all that shit. And then we're going to have a session zero after that. Yeah, it's happening. Up or down? No. Do you enjoy gin? No. Does your mom know that you're gay? No. Do you like black people? Yes. Months later, it's still almost finished. Yeah, I know. That's the way things happen. I'd like to see you guys DFF poisons and their various effects on people and animals. Each of you could do research. What do you think? No. Born to poop, forced to wipe. Oh, my God. Somebody, I'm going to kill you. What is this? You're making me sick. No, you can't kiss me on the boob. Are black people victims? No. You like Machine Gun Kelly? No. DFF on anime? No. Do you not like... Do you not, not, not like black people? I don't even... That one fucked me up. I don't know how to answer that and not be not do a racism. Do you like any Doors song? Yes. Is culture the new religion? No. Do you like your day so far? Yes. Are you doing Friday's episode? Yes. Is Amelia bisexual as well? Yes. You're the one who invited the questions. No. Did you enjoy getting load bearded at the meetup? No. Have you played the original Deus Ex? Yes. Do you like people? Mm, uh, yes, I guess. By and large. Amazon women hot? Huh? You talking about like big giant, like muscly women? Sure. Why not? But like Skrillex? No. Do you have a big ego? My name is Paul's ego. Are you in Blues Traveler? Why are you giving me the runaround? How's your day, sweetie? That's not a yes or no question. Do you miss the West Coast? Yes. Yes. What is good nowadays? Food. Especially like processed food. We've gotten really good at processed food in the West. Like all this weird, like cobbled together cheese. No, I know. Velveeta is delicious, and, it, and nobody knows exactly what it is. Like, all these freezer burritos are just getting better and better. Do you like pineapple on pizza? No, not really. She does, though. I found that out. Um, we almost broke up the other day when she said that she wanted pineapple on a pizza. It was almost a breakup situation. Would you eat an Impossible Burger? Do you know what it's made of? I don't, and yes, I would. I'm an American. I don't need to know what something is made of to eat. Like, you just got to put it in your mouth and chew, man. Do you have any change in your pocket? I don't even have any pockets. I told you I'm not wearing pants. Is ketchup on eggs a no-go for you? No, I like ketchup on eggs. I'm cool with it. I don't do it all that often because I make bomb ass eggs that don't need ketchup but if you put some ketchup on your eggs I don't, I'm not going to judge you for it <clears throat> if you were halfway through a delicious burger and found out it was human flesh would you carry on eating it if it was delicious yeah why not what are sweet dreams made of these I'm a gay fan Paul you should have slept with me before you got a girlfriend uh, nah no thanks Meat and potatoes, yes. Do you eat grits in Louisiana? Yes. Do you prefer waffles, pancakes, or French toast? Uh, pff, of those three, probably pancakes. Do you have more bed sores than TJ? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll count them today. We'll count our bed sores, and we'll see. If goblins were real, do you think we could enslave them? Huh? Would? Or, oh, would enslave them. Uh, yes. Yes. Can you explain the gorilla jokes on DFF? I don't get them. No. If you need a joke explained to you, you're too dumb to get it. Is the sex good? Yes. Eggs or bacon? Uh, yes, please. That b bacon is not pork. 
Bacon comes from the back of the bacon beast. Everybody knows this. Quit trying to troll me by saying bacon is pork. Okay, I don't eat pork. I'm a good-looking guy. Why? No thanks. I can't see you. You know what I mean? I don't... I'm, I, I gotta get... I gotta lay eyes on you. Are you solipsistic? No, but I knew a solipsist once. If a joke needs to be explained, it's not funny. Yeah, there you go. They do have turkey bacon, too. Why don't you eat pork? Uh, I'm not going to go into that again. You guys know why I don't eat pork. People have been around long enough to know why Paula shoes pork. Uh, how, how much to shave your beard slash head? I would do it right now on the stream for like 25 grand. That seems, that seems fair. 25 grand. Shave my head, shave my face, shave my eyebrows, shave my balls. I'll do it all. I'll go totally hairless. What's the solution to the Middle East situation? There isn't one. 25 grand, huh? If only I had the money. I know. If only anybody had the money. Someone might actually pay. Well, they won't. I don't think rich people watch you, Paul, but I admit I kind of want to see it. I know. I need to get in. I need to break into the rich market. How do I get these rich people watching? You'd do it for 20. You're probably right. I'm, I'm, I'm up for haggling. You know, if you want to, if you want to haggle with me for 20, I'd probably take 20. You're right. Were you ever an incel? No. I mean, what does that even mean? Were I, was I ever an incel? Was I ever involuntarily celibate? No. Do you agree that the reasons atheists identify with Nietzsche is because Nietzsche had $100? Yep, you got it. Oh, boy. You'll do it for $100,000? Cool. Get the rich, just change your political stance and become uptight and irritating. Okay. Do you ever get so bitter you lashed out at someone due to something as superficial as race or gender? I mean, I've lashed out at people over stupid shit, but I don't think race or gender. Maybe gender, honestly. There might have been some times where I, you know got mad at somebody because they were female or male. But I can't think of any. You have a Thanos chin under your beard? I do. What's your solution to school shootings, Mr. Zego? Arm the children. Give them some guns so they can shoot back. Do you remember when you kissed your cousin? I do. I did more than kiss my cousin, too. I did some I did some very very bad things with my cousin. Ever boiled your shoes? No. Ever experienced ego death? Yes. Yeah, acid will do that. I know political quizzes. Are you guys got it out of your fucking system yet? You don't think you heard my incest story? I mean, it's not really, it's not really that. And it's really not a cousin. It's not like a first cousin. So my aunt, my blood-related aunt, married a dude who I'm not blood-related to, who had a brother who had a daughter that was around my age that I fooled around with when I was like 10, 11, and she was 12 or so. That's it. We made out in the backyard of my aunt's house. It was my first real kiss. Swapped, we, we swapped slobber. And then in the back seat of my aunt's car on the way back from Disneyland, we threw a blanket over us and had a little fun. Put a pillow over our laps and, you know, did a little, did a little hand jobbing, did a little finger banging. Yes, Sam Sherwood. That's what I just got done saying. Elvis had a long, had a song about that. Did he? 
cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I still get made fun of, of uh, for that shit in, in, internally in my family. I still get teehee, you fucked your cousin jokes. What is your biggest personal flaw if you had to pick one? Being nice, yeah, that's probably true. I'm pretty um, accepting and pretty trusting with people in ways that maybe I shouldn't be, so that's probably a, a good one. I don't know, maybe lack of uh, follow through. That might be another another big flaw of mine. That's not your cousin. Stop trying to make yourself sound kinky. What? Huh? Why do you think you always need a girlfriend? I, I talked about this a little bit uh, in one of my phone streams from the, the studio recently. I don't know that I necessarily always need a girlfriend or a partner or whatever, but I do know that I do better when I have the perspective of another person in my life. Um, lacking of the perspective of another person sends me into a dark place. You're hard to talk to. Huh? Excuse me? Yeah, dude. I'm easy to talk to. I'm an approachable guy. Nah, because roommates just ignore each other a lot of the time. Like, a roommate is not going to be like, hey, are you okay all the time? And, you know, a roommate's not going to be seeing you at your worst. You know, you put on a face for the roommate. That wasn't a girl, and he wasn't 12, Paul. It's time to come clean. Oh, my God. Get out of here. Sometimes Paul is mean, but who doesn't have those moments? Yeah, dude, I can be mean. That's, that's true. I don't think of myself as a mean person, but I, I definitely know how to be mean, and it can come creeping out of me sometimes. I don't necessarily like it. What about just a very intimate friendship? Yeah, that sounds like having a girlfriend to me or a boyfriend. You could meet one person who has lived over the last hundred years. Who and what would you do? I would do heroin with Philip Seymour Hoffman. There you go. I meant hard to talk to in the sense of trying to get a hold of you being hard. Oh, yeah. No, that's absolutely true. I'll cop to that one. I don't like phones. I don't like texting. If you're not a member of my family, and even if you are a member of my family, but if you're not a member of my family, there's a good chance I'm just going to ignore whatever you send me. I don't like being on the leash of constant reachability. So yeah, I don't like talking on the phone. I don't like discussing things uh, via distance. I don't like talking business on the phone. I, I just don't. I'm a face-to-face -face guy. <clears throat> is your girlfriend part of the lgbtq community aren't you missing a few letters there go back to the fucking drawing board put all the right letters there and then i'll answer the question you missed like three letters no, it's more yeah you missed like five letters get with the program This is real face-to-face -face lol. What was that lol for? Are you trying to like trick other people into laughing when you when you end every sentence with lol? Get out of here. Oh yeah, there's an a, there's a symbol in there too. You got to put the plus, right? Yeah. Yeah. What's the hardest drug you've ever done? Meth? Cocaine? One of those, probably. Hey, Paul, just woke up and seen your stream. You seen it? Am I? Yeah. Holy shit. Time flies. 
her wand is pretty cool. It's like when people end sentences with a question mark that aren't questions. Yeah. Oh, by the way, is Heideology still beamed? I don't know. I should probably check that, huh? And start doing these on Heideology again. I'll look at it. I'll take a look. Go get some Taco Bell then. Who's stopping you? All right. See, when, when, you, when we do this question and answer thing, the chat becomes completely unreadable. So maybe I should, maybe I should not do this in the future. Maybe I should just ban stupid questions. That's, that's my first impulse is when I get a stupid question is to ban people, but I was feeling nice today, so I thought I'd just open up the floor to stupid questions, but now I wish I hadn't. Have you ever had more than a friend but not quite a lover? <laughs> I don't know. what. Is... I have it out of my system now. We can get philosophical and seriously now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Sure. Coffee would be great. Thank you. Coffee would be wonderful. Question period is over. Any stupid questions from here on out will be immediately banned. This is almost as bad as like the favorites shit that happens. Almost. This is almost as bad as like the favorites shit that happens. That was worth saying again. Thanks. I know I'm great. Statement period. Statements only from here on out. <coughs> blah, blah, blah. Man. Morning crew, get your head out of your ass. Stupid questions, immediate bans. Uh, uh Tiene los bibliotecs <laughs> uh quiero un nacho <laughs> coffee cafe bustelo uh oh, it's 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 uh cube it's cuban oh okay got the good stuff coffee in a can man only the best I don't know how I feel about the prospect of esports being taken seriously as a form of an entertainment on par with regular sports. I, uh, uh, yeah, no questions, only statements. Unless they're smart questions. I mean, esports, like, why, why are people worried about esports? Just let just let the let the neck beards have a sport, okay? I like watching esports too, sometimes. <clears throat> All questions are getting nuked. Yeah, stupid question equals ban. I already I said it. People know. People know better. Oh man, it's beautiful. The pruning has begun. <clears throat> yeah you guys need to work on your statements I'm going to go ahead and stop the stream now it's been an hour and 40 minutes worth of nonsense conversation you guys have a good one catch you next time goodbye <laughs>